Hello everyone, thanks for dropping by. That is a woman driving the Porsche Boxster instead of the guy and the usual pictures I have on as a background wallpaper. Because the Porsche Boxster is designed primarily as a woman's car, even though it's guys who conceived it and engineers who are guys that built it. Anyway, a few weeks ago I did videos about the attendance of university and how female students are slowly increasing the numbers with the decrease of guys. It all had to have come to a head and it naturally the head has reached now as I found this yesterday. This was a Rudira College News and as you can see it says women outnumber men in US colleges. Nearly 60% of students in 2020, 2020 21 were women. This was written on the 10th of September and it says women students now represent the majority of student population at colleges in the United States according to spring 2021 enrollment estimates at the non-profit organization the National Student Clearinghouse and it goes on 60% of students were women while 40% were men Overall, U.S. College saw one and a half fewer student, one and a half million fewer students compared to five years ago, with men decreasing by 71 percent. Most likely, the 71 percent of guys saw the trap that college is was with the false rape claims, and they decided they don't want to risk their future by going to university and they go somewhere else. And it says that while there were fewer 200,000 women students between 2021, 2021 and 2020, statistics show that the number of men students have particularly dropped with 400,000 fewer men compared to record 2021 compared to a year earlier. I commented on this on a previous video. Those 400,000 fewer guys, they could be going to trade schools or non-college education or the online courses to get themselves a higher education without bothering to go to a brick and mortar university. And it just goes on a little bit more statistics. Many students in US colleges declined by 42% in all enrollment spring 2019 to 41.4% in 2020. And then it just repeats more or less what it says, a 60% increase in women. And similarly with the European Union, more young men left ed education and training earlier than women. I clicked on that earlier to see what it brought up. And it just college news about young men over here in Europe. Well, representing the data of female leadership, 850 members, the Un European University Associate revealed that there would be more than 70% increase in women rectors worldwide since 2014. Now that was Edura News over in America, Georgetown University also jumped on this news item. Women increasingly outnumber men in US colleges, but why? If you have to ask why and you work in the university itself, then you're not keeping your eyes open to find out what's going on on the campus. But this is just a clip article from the Wall Street Journal and then also in the New York Times. I clicked on them but you've got to subscribe to it but sod that. I'm not giving money to them. Other forces at work. Kerry points out that women have made up the majority of US college students for more than 40 years. Men are actually more likely to go to college today than they were when they were the majority. On campus, shifting gender balances largely reflect sharp increases in women's enrollment. Even this broader perspective, decline increases in male enrollment and completion, specifically at community colleges. These community colleges could be trade schools. Not being an American, I wouldn't know. And he said it's a calamity that I pointed out on a previous video. Experts suggest that the economic strains of the pandemic the old whipping boy again, the pandemic, likely forced many young men to prioritise earning and veer away from higher education. 
more like many young men, have seen the danger of false race accusations and decided to veer away. The Sandman, his latest video as a 17 year old lad wants to be an aeronautical engineer and his 20 year old sister doesn't like him looking at red pill videos on YouTube etc. Anyway, about 200,000 fewer women attended community college last year. That could be trade schools, they didn't want to get their hands dirty. But their enrolment decline was less severe. Perhaps because they no doubt understood the bleak long term prospects for women without a credential. Well, a feminist university credential is not going to get them a job. Now, that's so is college websites news. Russia Today, I found this. This was 17th of September. White men are now almost extinct on university campus. And that's exactly what feminists want. And then it just about the feminist slant. 1.5 million fewer students in America's education system. And yep, you guessed it. Men account for 71% of the decline. Specifically, white males are the only demographic to show a fall in numbers, even though there's been a record rate of undergraduate accepting onto courses. And there's the 400,000 again. Women attendance has also skyrocketed across every ethnicity. The percentage of black women are 19, Asian 39, white women 1%, mixed race 36, another BAME, that's black, Asian, minority, ethnics. They could have cut out those that sentence and just halved it or just had that one line. This isn't the Western phenomenon. In Panama, 53%. It's spreading across the world, but university education is a declining subject that anyone can get a degree these days, and it doesn't hold the same weight as it did, say, 40, 50 years ago. Anyone be surprised this disparity is a an idiot or decline in the war against men? Anyone who's a feminist simply won't care. Then it gloats a bit. The ongoing decline in men in university is just another element of a bigger strategy. We all knew that. But it's a hollow victory. Once a springboard to success, colleges and universities are now an absolute racket. And then the final uplifting bit says, according to a recent study in UK's Intellectual Property Office, men are still filing the majority of patent applications around the world, as they have always done. These are the pioneers who think outside the box. Unfortunately, most university students don't bother to think at all. Now, women might be outnumbering men at university, but we, all these women are also going to get a university debt hanging around the neck. And with men being more wary of women, they're gonna, all these women are going to carry this debt unto old age unless they get married to some simp that's going to pay off the student debt, then they'll just leave him. It's an interesting development that universities can't understand, but old guys that are MGTOW in the world do understand, especially white guys who are turning MGTOW. Though I expect a lot of black guys who are also MGTOW will also understand. This is what's going to decline the university education system because all these women that are pouring out of it with their piece of paper are not going to be employable by anyone because women don't do STEM courses. And that is why Chinese students have been graduating by the thousands in engineering and mathematics and science and everything like that, which is why the Chinese economy is booming ahead and the American economy is in decline, except for making weapons. And that doesn't in improve humanity at all. Anyway, I might carry this on a bit longer next week if I find something more interesting. But, or I might go to Star Wars because... We're coming up to October and we we'll want to see if Kathleen Kennedy has actually left the building or not. Or I might do something completely different. 
But until then, that's it for this one. You're right, people. You know the routine. Like, dislike, comment, subscribe. It's completely up to you. So until next Monday, that's it. Bye-bye.